excited, Cormac? I'm super excited. How excited is super excited? Holy hell excited. Yeah. yeah. Why am I so excited? For one thing, I'm back home. The other, the biggest event in Brunswick and Golden Isles is happening. That's right, it's Juggle Comic Con. But first, we gotta take it back a few weeks. After all, we gotta show you guys how we got here in the first place. this uh, documentary uh, and we I guess we both really like the idea of the Jekyll doing the Jekyll Comic Con. And cosplaying for it. Cosplaying, yeah. So uh, what is it? Where, how, how, how do you want to do this? Well, um, what were you planning on dressing up as? Do you have everything for your costume? Uh, no, I have, I have some things. Are you wearing uh, one costume or are you going to do two different? I'm just going to do the one costume. Um, in fact, to, because of how how close we're doing this, then I'm essentially just going to be going as uh, um, Casey Jones from, uh, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Well then, should we both just do the one costume for both days then, or does it matter? What? Like, what do you mean? Like, because I was thinking of doing two costumes, but I don't want to do two costumes if you're only doing one. I figured just, you know, we do one costume for the first day, and then the second day we're just, you know, walking around normal, normal clothes. Okay, so this brings some dirt attire for the second day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not really dirt attire, but, you know, uh, just something to... The nerd attire. Yeah, like, nerd attire. So yeah. Especially nerd attire. Yeah. Um, like Batman shirts. Or Fantastic Beast shirts. Yes. Whatever we have um, on hand. Um, all right. So, so we, we we talked we talked a little bit about earlier about uh, getting an extra cameraman. Gabe has said that he's got uh, he's got to do a shoot for on seventh and eighth. But otherwise, he's on board. If he can plan it, yeah. He awesome. said he'll let me know, and I hope he lets me know before midnight of the eighth, because that would just be. Classic game. <laughs> I can do it, guys. <laughs> well, um, these are good pictures. Can you see Jones right here? Really? Yeah. Should I'll show you. I would like, say. Also, the screen's it's a touch screen, so. Awesome possum. Um. So, the ninth when we go down there, we're pretty much going to be getting. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's oh, that's nice. Oh. Yeah, so I just got to get, I have, yeah, it's easy to get, I can easily just make one out of foam and spray paint it. But uh, I just have to get the mask. Um, there's uh, another version, of, or you know, I can just wear sweatpants, which is really easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, I have, I have at my parents' house a uh, golf bag. Mm. In fact, there's an even older golf bag that's my older brother, my younger brother's. So it's, it's kind of old, so I can just use does it, it. Does it zip up at the top? Or it it oh. doesn't, it's not, it, it's golf bags don't zip up. You okay. just put the stuff in it. I was going to say, because if you don't have bats or whatever, what we could do is we could just like stuff a lot of stuff in it, make it look like it's full, and just. Oh, yeah. Put no, it. There, I, I also have plenty of golf clubs. Oh. Right home. That's me heavy to carry around, though. Oh, not really. Not bad. Oh, but there, there's another picture that I pulled up. That's cool. So essentially, I just take my little Batman costume and repurpose some of the uh, pads, new pads, pads and the shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And I just gotta you know, do the mask. That's cool. Um, do we want Gabe to dress up at all, or does he just this not matter since he's a cameraman? <laughs> well, I mean, he can if he wants to. I, w I would say since he's being a cameraman, uh, we're just gonna we're doing most of our shooting on Saturday. He wants to dress up on Sunday. Okay. I don't think you'll have much of a trouble doing that since we've pretty much said that we'll pay for everything 
Yeah. Just, we just need him to come down and help with cameras, just take one of the cameras and run with it. So on the way to Brunswick, we're going to be stopping, taking photo or taking shots of uh, uh, what do you call it, city city signs and landmarks or whatever, and just stuff that we think is interesting along the way, and some conversations. Oh yeah, totally. Because uh, you can't. It's kind of hard to have a, a traveling documentary without without some travel stuff. Especially to a con. Now this is a smaller con than. Uh, the others like um, San Diego Comic Con, Dragon Con, I can't think of any of the others. I don't know what City Comic Con because that's one of the ones I've been to. Oh, uh, there's the Tampa one. Tampa that's Bay Comic Con, yeah, so this, uh, is, this is a small one. Yeah. Relatively new. How old is it? Uh, it's This is its third year. I've been so to the first two. So. It's a baby. It's it's literally a baby. Oh, well, wait a second. Is Toys R Us have a Casey Jones mask? Oh! Uh, no, we that's just a. Toy. But 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 that's a good that's a good thought. But yeah, I would need a Toys cheap R Us. coffee stick. I can just go to Toys R Us. Toys R Us might have some stuff because of all the. We might need to go by there. Yes. Yeah. We can totally go by there. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, we have plenty of time. We got plenty of time, guys. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of time. We can do whatever we want. It looks very not Jesse. Uh, Casey Jones? Casey Jones. I don't know why I said Jesse. I always well, say Jesse. I would just cut out holes. Well, it has this mouth, so. But there's no Casey Jones masks. There's no Casey Jones mask here at Toys R Us. Toys R Us. We need like a cosplay store. With Jekyll Comic Con being almost two weeks away, me and Amanda were definitely under the gun to get our costumes ready. Amanda had decided to buy parts of her costume online. I followed suit as well, and ordered a Casey Jones mask through Amazon. Unfortunately for the both of us, problems arose. Alright, right now Amanda is currently trying to uh, place a call with Hot Topic, trying to figure out what's going on with her order for her costume. Um, so we're going to find out what's going on. Hey Amanda. What's Carmack, I am really not in the mood right now. But this is for our project. But your project can wait. I'm trying to get this all pulled up. It's your project too. Yes, I know that, dear. But what's what's so what's going on? My order was not cancelled like it was supposed to be, so now they're saying they shipped it and I'm trying to see if it actually shipped. So I'm trying to see if I can get it by the day we need it so I can if you don't move. While we were dealing with that, we also decided to give a little insight into our previous travels with Comic Cons. My first cosplay was in 2014, when I first went to the very first uh, Joker Comic Con. Uh, it was brand new, uh, they didn't know how big it was going to be, it was only one day. Um, in fact, even the Juggle Island Convention Center didn't think it was going to be a, the, a, that big of a deal. Um, that year, me and my sister, we went together as Batman and Robin, based off of the 1985 uh, graphic novel and comic series, The Dark Knight Returns. Um, I went as the severely armored Batman, and my little sister went as uh, Carrie Kelly, the brand new female Robin, which was still a conventional pick at the time. Um, we, we enjoyed it. There was a whole whole bunch of people. A lot of people wanted pictures with Batman and Robin. Um, a, a lot of the uh, vendors and photographers that were there immediately recognized the style we were trying to convey, and that uh, that was a big a big uh, highlight of the weekend because I worked really hard on trying to emulate Frank Miller's style. My first Comic Con was in Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle in 2014. I didn't dress up, um, but I, but from seeing everything around me and seeing all of the um, all of the costumes, everything that every put, everybody put forth, it made me actually really enjoy um, the con. And then in in uh, September of last year, I went to Dragon Con in Atlanta. Dragon Con was huge. There was three different you know hotels. It was amazing. There was a parade, and I actually dressed up as Harley Quinn. 
Uh, well, my version of Harley Quinn, and uh, I mean, I had an inter uh, a reporter come up to me and want to interview me for the con. I had people who wanted to, um, you know, take pictures with me because, you know, I had on a steel bone corset, and I mean, anybody who's wearing a corset at a con is going to get a lot of attention because they're really expensive and they do a lot for your body structure. All right, so a little bit of luck after uh, my mom told me that I would not be getting in the mask I ordered online. Um, turns out, in the middle of me making this one, I get this text. Yeah, that's right. My mom just got it in. I guess I don't have to finish making this. Couple of the hardships that I went through in making the costume was uh, first off because um, I used a whole bunch of sports equipment to make the costume. Um, there was a, there was a cost factor in that uh, using lacrosse gear, uh, also uh, elbow pads, knee pads, and um, baseball catcher's gear for the legs. Um, one of the hardest parts of making it was actually getting the helmet correctly. Uh, I ended up using an old t-ball helmet that my uh, cousins gave me because they weren't using it anymore um, and then I ended up getting a really cheap catcher's mask. Uh, I cut the catcher's mask into di uh, di at different portions of it so um, I took the, the face guard part and I drilled drilled and uh, secured it to the, uh, the t-ball helmet. Um, I took the top part of the catcher's mask, cut that completely in half to make the uh, the bad ears of the mask, and then I just used uh, cardboard, duct tape, and um, some uh, sealant, black sealant spray to get the color correctly, and it turned out very well. All right, so we are on our way to Brunswick right now. Are we, Amanda? Hey, yeah. yeah, it's a little bit cold outside, so you know how it is. Woohoo! On the way to Brunswick, getting ready for Jekyll Island. Time to drive! Woo! Give me that. Okay. I'm just gonna put it over like this. Home sweet home. And tomorrow, the real fun begins. Once arriving at the convention center, we were able to talk to a Everyone's couple of cosplayers the about their time at Jekyll Island Comic Con and their costumes. That's a local con where all my friends go to, and this is kind of a 
nice place to hang out, nice place, like the, the island. This is my third time. Um, I think it's a, it's a great place for um, people with, with creative ideas and, and friends to get together and uh, have fun and dress up and, and express their geeky side. Yeah, what he said, and it's it's. I, I love that that you know Glen County finally has a, a social function for the for the geeks and the nerds. Oh uh, well, we didn't really uh, we didn't really make them. We had to like what we did is like we took a few costumes and just like whichever ones like we could just like we kind of like collaborated with other costumes and just like kind of like put some stuff together. Like we had to do some things. Like we found one costume that came with the uh, the armor and the crown. And we just decided to come, and this costume right here didn't actually come with it, so we had to like collaborate with uh, lots and lots of pieces in order to like kind of maintain a little bit of accuracy. And uh, but um, actually, the sword, it's actually a little bit made. It kind of took a while, but it was actually pretty well made for the first time that I actually did something with it. And uh, the rest of it, just uh, pre-bought. With the line growing, it was easy to see everyone was anxious to get inside. Then suddenly, the doors were open. It was soon time to get serious, as we had the professional interviews to go through. My name is Lee Bingham. Uh, I'm an actor and stuntman out of Atlanta, and that's pretty much all I do with my time, and I like to cosplay. So. All right, my name is Stanley McLaughlin. Um, I do casting as well as act as well. Um, Navy Bokri, actor, stuntman, wrestler, part of the uh, Deadpool Black Panther fan film series, and also working on this movie called Triumphant right now. Uh, I'm Garrett Dumas, I'm an actor, producer, director, writer, uh, and actually just stunts in the Deadpool films, yeah. Uh, man, I just like being around like a bunch of people like with the same mindset. You know, everybody gets to like nerd out and become somebody they're really not, even if it's just for like a day or two, and I find it pretty dope. Hey, we're on a beach. Done. Like, yes. you had me at, we're going to be on the beachfront here at Jekyll Con. And it's like, it's just a good environment on top of another good environment because like everybody here is friendly. Everyone here is awesome, really. Um, I like uh, the fans. We've been coming here for three years now. Uh, it's, it's always an awesome crowd, always great people, uh, always good energy. Uh, tons of Deadpool fans, tons of just, it's just the whole culture in general. On top of that, they put us on the beach and stuff like that for, for two days. I mean, you can't get any better than that. I mean, I enjoy dressing up and coming out and seeing everybody and all the other costumes and cosplayers. Um, I'm just her minion. <laughs> <laughs> I, tend to, I tend to drag Bridget out with me at all these events. I started cosplaying over 10 years ago and uh, been to Comic Cons all over the place and I just really enjoy it, enjoy the culture, enjoy dressing up and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Awesome. And uh, what do you guys like most about the Jekyll Comic Con? Um, 
know. It's this is our first time here. Yeah. So, so oh, okay. Yeah, we haven't been to this one before, but it's a really good setup. I mean, they've got a nice floor plan, and I like the venue's nice. Um, so. Yeah, we heard really good things about it from everyone who went last year, and so that's why we decided to check it out this year. Awesome. And it's not too far from Jacksonville. Dimitri Walker, 50-year-old artist from Atlanta, been there my whole life. Just started doing the fan art stuff about four years ago. Um, mainly because I was teaching this class and a friend of mine took the class. She does this big jewelry booth. She does like Dragon Con and San Diego and all this. But she took my class to learn to draw the TARDIS better. After about three or four weeks, we got to be friends. We're having a glass of wine. And she goes, I know you love Doctor Who and Supernatural and you know Star Wars and all this stuff. And I've been to your website. How come you don't have any fan art? And I looked at her and said, What's fan art? I had no clue you could paint and draw the stuff that you love and people would pay you for it. So I've been doing that the last four years. I do about 150 pieces a year because this is my life and I don't do anything else. So yeah, this is it. It's what I do. I love it. I absolutely adore it. And with the interviews done for the day, it was time to have some fun.
All right, so we just finished up Jekyll Comic Con 2016, and we're um, we're about to head out for the night. So, Amanda, what are your thoughts? I liked it. It was great. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. Very very nice for a small con for a new con. A lot of people came out came out. Um, they love that it's on the beach. The vendors were very nice. Everybody was very helpful. Um, we didn't have any problems from anybody at all. Even even the pro cosplayers. Um, a lot of the celebrities were very nice. Um, all around, I think it was a great, great con. Um, you know, just just for the small, the, the size that it was. I thought it was very, very well done. Yeah, this being my third year coming out here, I always have a blast. I get to see a lot of my uh, friends since this is my hometown. Uh, we get to see all the different costumes we all come up with. I had two of my buddies. They were uh, they did a Fallout Four or any of the Fallout games. Uh, they did the vault costumes, uh, and their vault number was actually their room. Their uh, um, their apartment numbers. So that was that was a pretty cool idea. Um, I saw one of my favorite artists that comes out here, uh, Dimitri. He uh, I have a couple of his artwork. So is my sister. Um, we lo- love seeing him out here. I have a new favorite artist. I uh, got a painting of Captain America from him. Um, Tim. Well, no, it was his painting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Sorry. I, it's okay. I, I love it out. I love coming out here. Like a lot, just like the same reason a lot of people like coming out here. The, the beach is right there, which is always fun to uh, to come out and see. Um, what? Well, uh, anything else you want to add? I think I think this is a great little little thing for this little this little area, this little beach. Um, I think they need to continue doing it. Um, it's a lot cheaper than other cons. Uh, I know the Very other cons cheap. are a lot bigger. Uh, but for two days, it was only like $35, which was amazing. Uh, so I think if you don't get paid a lot and you just want to come out and have something to do, you know, and have fun, like be a little geek or a nerd, you know, here's a place to do it. They had great um, video game uh, tournaments. They had card games you could play. They had every a, a lot going on. They had face painting. One booth had, uh, you could change yourself into an action figure. Oh. That was That was cool. Um, I've never actually seen that at a, at another con. Um, a lot, a lot of great costumes. Though. It was just so artistic, so fantastic. Uh, homemade jewelry. Um, yeah, I, I definitely will come out to this one again. Uh, this is going. This was my third con to come to ever. Uh, so this was definitely, definitely cool. And I think this is going to be a great, great thing to do a documentary on. So anybody ever wants to do a documentary, do it on a con. Definitely. All right, and I believe that's a wrap. It's a wrap. All right. Yay. Awesome. Give us a good grade. <laughs> and cut.